Hello and welcome to the Flex Landing Media coverage of the final round back nine action at the 2022 New Zealand Disc Golf National Championships presented by Pack and Serve Kobeni. And of course, this coverage is brought to you by the Eastern Suburbs Sports Trust. My name is Chris Hoopman. I'm Brady Kosh. Thank you so much for joining us for this exciting end to what's been an awesome tournament. And uh, I'm really excited to see how it goes. Yeah, man, look at this gallery, dude. Here we are, you know, like it was the 2 p.m. afternoon card. The gallery is massive watching this lead card action. So for the round, you know, like Simon started out, he started out the leader, he's gone pretty cold, only one down for the round. Um, still in the hunt though, Levi and Kana both hot for the round, you know, like coming in at five for that front nine, 24 and 22 respectively. Even hotter for the round, Jay Watkinson, seven under par through the front nine. He's sitting at 23 overall, one off the pace from Levi Stout. This is gonna be an awesome finish. Yeah, this is absolutely the battle that me as a TD that I wanna see, you know, like coming in. Here we come into hole 10, uh, par three, 95 meters coming down. This is your small planet island hole. Uh, you can see all the flags there. You gotta stay inside the rope, otherwise you're playing your shot as a hazard. Um, and actually for this last round, this was the hardest hole of the day. So I guess a lot of these, you know, like last day nerves are coming into play. Let's see how our lead card tackles it. Oh, big skip and it's safe. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I'm like, did he hit a flag? Like Levi caught the flag there up on hole six, but no, he's just nice and safe, half the disc in. Still have to play it where it lies, though, so it'll still be a tricky circle's edge putt. Super wide from Connor. This probably doesn't have enough height to come back. And oh, nope, no, that is not a with a tailwind. That's oh, going to be man. obstructed by that tree as well. Yeah, speaking of nerves, mm. Connor's pushing for a win, so not Levi, pushing for a bogey. Levi throwing his first run Kia. Nice overstable, reliable upshot. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Levi's hungry. He's coming off those, you know, like last couple birdies. He wants revenge. He got that spit out on eight. Here's Simon straight at the basket. A little bit right. Just sneaking into the island. Yeah, he'll be fine. That'll be, you know, like a five meter putt. Shouldn't be too bad for Simon. Is Connor going to go through the gap? Oh, he wants to. Looks like he is. Okie dokie. Here we go. <laughs> a little bit of fireworks here. Let's see if you can make the, the outside, the, the island putt. Man, look at that wind come in. Yeah, it started to rip through in at this point of the afternoon. Oh, oh, just low, just got pushed down. Yeah, I do like it. He didn't fall forward. He did step out to the side. You know, like that's an absolutely great bid through the tree. You can see there, Jay's playing no part for this wind. Yeah, he got chewed up that last round, you know, like hitting the flag and rolling away. So he just wants his par and to walk away. Wow, great putt from Simon. Yeah. That's an elite level putt. Yeah, if he can turn it on, he had the, the hot back nine yesterday. Um, so he definitely knows that he can attack this part of the course. Levi, this will be a big confidence booster. Oh. That's two splash outs for Levi. Um, you can see the frustration there, slapping the disc on the leg. He's going to speed a play, tap out here. But yeah, that's not what you want. That was a stroke on Jay, uh, you know, like to extend the lead and a couple on Kana there. Yeah, big loss for, for Levi. And um, it'll be interesting to see how, how he holds it together, yeah. knowing that he dropped that one. No net loss brings us here to hole 11, par 460 meters. Uh, distance and accuracy is king off the tee. You want to get as far down and on the right of the fairway as you can because you see this big, massive tree is protecting the basket on the left. Yeah, the hardest hole of the weekend's done. Oh, of the round, I should say. Yeah, yeah of the round. Here's Simon. He's taking a peka peka, so a flippy fairway off the tee. And, and he's flipped that way over. He's actually left of the screen there, so he's almost gone onto the other fairway. Um, beside this one. Yep, here's Jay. Jay's taking a halo wraith today. Let's see if the wind conditions will be more favorable to this disc selection. Yeah, it's going to be a right to left wind, and you're going to see it's pushing that disc way left compared to the first two days. Yeah, he's definitely on the left side of the fairway, but he's bitten off a good amount of distance. Yeah, and he's actually too open. If you get too far and too close to the trees, it, it pinches off mm. your upshot. Super wide from Levi. Yeah, just taking the wind right out of it. Holds it low, Beautiful. throws it over that short tee. That's right where you want to be. Perfect drive from Levi. Connor's been leaning on this enigma quite a lot throughout the round. Yeah, he's going to want that extra flip into this wind, and it seems like he's... going to finish? That's fine. Yeah, that's great. That's so good. Perfectly. Farthest off the tee, kind of stepping up, you know, like making up for missing the island on that last hole. 
Here's Simon. He actually has an open look through the trees, so he got lucky in his, his tree kick to the right. Super low, though, obviously influenced by that ceiling. And he's left it significantly short. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the birdie look that he's going to get. He's probably going to have to settle for a par. Levi's caddy nice and close to the lie. But... Uh, oh, almost drawing metal on the uh, upshot. And yeah, he's a bit, a bit of the, Yeah, he's hit a bit of that hard pan, skipped out the back. That's going to leave him a tricky putt. And his confidence isn't that high at the moment. He's had two splash outs in the last three holes. Let's see what Jay can do from this position. He's actually been here quite a lot throughout the tournament, so he's probably familiar with this approach. Keeping it low under the trees, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. No skip. He really played the long grass really well, so he's pin high, probably six, seven meters. And Connor with the easiest approach from our lead card. Perfect position off the tee. Little razor oh, claw to upshot. Oh, a little bit grabby on that long grass, but hey, that's okay. Yeah, he's right there next to Jay. That's where you want to be. He's inside the circle for his birdie look. Here's Simon, another low ceiling. Going to be a tricky. You're going to need lots of spin on this putt. He's a spin putter, though. Oh, Ugh. cage. Just short. That's been Simon's miss this round, but a good bid from back there. I mean, it's not something that you want, but I wonder if we could get a... um. A cage hit stat, because it would be like <laughs> tick, push, pushing the limits tick, on this. <laughs> tick. Oh, oh, my goodness. You don't want to see it, especially down the stretch, just a little bit left. Yeah, those nerves probably setting in for Connor. He knows he's running out of time, and he's got three strokes to make up. Great birdie from Levi from the knee. Yep, Levi needed that. He's got to keep his lead. We only got seven holes left. A lot of practice for... Uh, in the cargo players from the knee, I think, playing in Queen's Park. There's a lot of rough out there, so... Yeah, they're used to the low ceilings and those kind of, like, tricky stance putts around trees. Jay, you know, the Christchurch boy, used to the open, caches the birdie. That was a, you know, not the ideal drive, but still makes the up and down, so, you know, he'll he'll cash the birdie, takes him to 24 under par, so he's one back on Levi. I think that might be three from three on this hole for Jay, so playing it well. Yeah, unfortunate par there. You know, he was hoping to get that stroke back from missing the island, but, you know, he'll still settle with the four. Simon's the same. He'll take his par. And we'll head into hole 12, par three. Pretty short at only 67 meters, but playing quite tough. This was playing over par every round for MPO throughout the tournament at uh, plus 10 overall. Uh, really tricky technical green. Got to land the disc with the same angle of the hill so you don't end up catching an edge and rolling away and there's also a lot of guardian trees around the entrance yeah the we had a lot of players on our coverage from yesterday you know like that we're catching that tree there on the right Here, here's a buzz out of jay and he's turned it that's going deep into that tree on the yeah on the he right didn't side. catch edge this time he's super deep in that tree uh so yeah maybe should have taken a drone off the tee here's levi levi looks like a more straight approach heisering uh... out left though yeah, it's up on the high side, so that might just be a soft Yeah, he's safe. Slider. I don't think he'll be close enough for a run, but he should be able to slide it up for a par. This is Simon throwing his strata Kotiku. Yeah, just a bit too stable, but he got the counter skip yesterday. Going to leave him circle's edge, though, so that's going to be like total death putt. But, you know, like Simon's three strokes back, he, he might have to run it. Really high MD3 drive from Connor and that's leaked very far left high up on the hill yeah yeah there's absolutely no way that Connor's going to be running that pot he'll have a layup oh Jay's actually not as deep as we probably thought no but this is not where you want to be down the hill so he has it's super touchy you can get cut rolls you could hit a tree or something I mean, we, and roll down the we hill we saw Willie from here in uh, round one and he just had to kind of pitch around and get something up close to the basket I think he caught a lot of uh, leaves as well Mm, interesting pending. okay so jay kind of went for more of a straight throw to the mouth of the green rather than going for an anheuser and trying to get it yep. around the corner but he's still circles edge he was right there next to levi and simon so i mean that's still no gimme par by any means sit sit yes it sits perfect yeah, so that's the CTP. So, yeah, we had a little bit of fun for players out there this weekend. Uh, so Joseph Barry actually took the CTP on the weekend. So congratulations to him uh, winning a disc. Oh, oh no. no. This is not CTP. Oh. 
Levi. That's heartbreaking coming down the stretch, you know, like he's only got one stroke above Jay here. And this is, looks like, I mean, we've seen Jay putting from very similar positions throughout the tournament. He, he might be running this. To put massive pressure on Levi. Oh my goodness. What a pass out. Uh, yeah, please roll that back. Give me the Flamingo replay. That was never going to miss. Like, he's hard of the chains, just over the rim. Like, it's not going to bounce out. It's not going to get blown out. That's a par save, but he's literally that little, that, that bones from yeah. Levi, they're going to be tied up the top. That like, was so good to see from Levi giving him the fist bump, knowing that he's probably losing a, a stroke to him. Yeah. There's Levi just chipping up, so he's, you know, like going to be tapping in bogey. You know, that's going to put them both at 24 under par. It's a real battle here on the back nine yeah. as we see Simon cashing in a beautiful birdie. Yep, so that puts him at 23 under par, Woo. so he's just one off the pace. Simon's completely in the hunt. It's all to play for. Yeah, kind of a little bit slow here on this back nine, but that's just fine. There's a lot of attackable holes here coming. Hey, we just saw a really good pass save from out of position. Yep, so yeah, three strokes back, but he's still in it. That takes us to hole 13. Par three, 76 meters. You got this tight window to hit off the tee, make it above the gorse, out the trees. And then so long as you get past this last big guardian tree on the right, you should be able to filter down the hill right at this basket. Yeah, from going from one of the harder holes for the tournament to one of the easiest. This one was playing at uh, 0.48 under par for the round. 56.6% of the field getting birdies. But uh, I don't think Simon's getting a birdie on this one. No, that's that guardian tree I was telling you about. This wind is going to be pushing from left to right for all of these players. So it pushes right into that guardian tree. So it didn't hang it wide enough. Let's see if Jay can correct. Shot. Ugh, oh, that was tight. Filter too long? I think no, that it looked like it caught, caught a tree and dropped down. Mm -hmm. So he's inside the circle. That should give him a look at birdie. Oh, Brady, I'm just getting distracted here by the T-signs. Who do we have to thank for that? Uh, I was going to say that's a, well, you can pat yourself on the back for that one. I'll do it for you. You know, like these absolutely beautiful T signs were made then none other than yourself and the team here at Flexline Media. So we saw Connor getting caught up by the tree. Oh yeah, it's good. Really good. And Simon reckons it's good and I reckon it's good too. Yeah, that's a great shot by Levi. That's going to give him the look. So the only look are your leaders at Levi and Jay. Connor and Simon are both out of position. Floaty Anheuser approach. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, I've seen thrones before, but that would have been absolutely beautiful. Use that little oh. window between the pine and just off of the cage. Maybe if it was a smooth basket, it would have slided in. Who knows? Oh, uh -oh it's talking about sliding in. <laughs> <laughs> Simon sliding over. Yeah. I mean, full send on his jump putt, I guess. <laughs> A uh, little bit low, unfortunately, for Simon. Good to see the commitment, though. Oh, beautiful. From Money. the knee. That's Jay. a birdie. Pressure on, Levi. Yeah. Let's see how Levi responds. So this isn't going to be a comfortable distance for him, especially putting down the hill, and it's going to be a bit of a tailwind, so it's going to be pushing his putter to the left. Cashes it. I'm just amazed at how quickly Levi gets in position. Judges the putt and makes it. He's a quick operator. Yeah, it's one of those. He's been on the tour for a couple of years now. He was the tour winner last year. Um, so really good to see him coming out competing for the championship this year. But I know that he gets in the reps when it comes to putting. So he's probably just used to. It's like, oh, sweet. It's like putt number two of this set. Cool. Step up. Bang. Nothing but chains. Hole 14. Par 3, 65 meters. The shortest hole in the course, but it's one of the hardest. There's uh, a whole lot of trees to get through. There's two lines, one on the left and one on the right. Um, a lot of players will um, just opt, honestly, just to play the ground and just slide up using those pine needles. But we see Connor going for the overhand and Jay's been going for this forehand and it's working well for him. Well, it catches an early tree, but he should be all right. He'll be just inside the circle there off to the right of the camera. Levi also going for the forehand. This looks like a Kia. Yeah, first run key out of him. He's probably looking to throw that touch forehand too. Inside though. No. Perfect. 
Yeah, so there's, we locals will call that the inside gap. So there is a kind of tree oh, line there that protects right. the basket. So normally your play is to the outside of it. Levi snuck in just on the inside. Um, but way too inside is going to be Simon. It looked like he kicked left, which is not where you want to be. Uh, you definitely want to cut off as much distance as you can. Connor searching for his first birdie of the back nine. Oh, settle. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Is that two from two? Yeah, that'll be... Or two for three on the two, weekend. Two for three. Yeah, let's get another replay here. You're probably not going to be able to see much of it. Perfect overhand play going down that right-hand gap. <laughs> Misses everything. Skips under the basket. Oh. Great tree direction. A little play in the backboard there. So he should have a tap in birdie. How do you miss that tree? He was out in the fairway. Way down. Uh, yeah, but we'll see some green on his card coming up. That angle change for the pan out was so <laughs> cool. It's just like, I'm going this way. Nope, I'm going back. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just proves the skill of the catch cam here by Chris. Uh, Flexline Media does absolutely incredible work, so it's great to have you guys up uh, filming for the weekend. As we see Simon struggling with these trees. Yeah, but he's used to, he used to say he had the tightest gap in, in the country, but I think we've taken that away from him here on hole 14. Oh, what a putt. Excuse me, what? Like, from way downtown, Simon just showing those veteran nerves, calm, cool, and collected, going up to take that par out. He's like, meh. I yeah. don't need to be inside the circle. Little fist bump there from Flavio is Caddy, local Wellington player. Here's Jay, a very important birdie coming down the stretch. Cashing the birdie. Wow, Jay's been playing clean this entire round up to here. Four down through the back nine. So that's ten down for the round. Woo! Yeah, three down. Sorry, yeah, yeah. 10 down for a round playing hot. Connor drops in his, Levi hits his. So that's three for four of players taking that's birdies incredible. on the tough, tight wooded 14. Which brings us to the hill, the signature hole of the course. Hole 15, par five, 235 meters up the hill. It is long but fair. You want as much distance as you can off the tee to make it up over the this first rise uh, with your second. Should be a, your third shot carrying you across this last valley to put you under the basket for birdie. So Jay is switching his disc up for this one. Ooh, what so do we got? A star, star race. Oh wait, he's been throwing that the whole round, but that that was a different disc, right? No, he's been throwing his halo wraith, which is oh. too stable. So the star wraith is going to give him the flip and gotcha. put him in the middle of the fairway. So that's a great disc choice, mm. you know, like really kind of knowing his discs and making the correction for the last day. Got a Zeus from Levi. Yeah, Levi leans on this Zeus off many of these long tees. Going to be drifting left though into that. Uh, tree area which you do not want to be in no that's the tougher run up on that left hand mm. side still should play but not an ideal landing zone as compared to the right hand side Ooh. which is where Khan is headed will it hang into the fairway yes it does yeah that looks just fine you should have an easy flatter approach to be able to throw over the hill here's simon navigating the tee throwing his nice glidey kahu go baby not glidey enough though looks a bit stable mm. Didn't get the same flight on it that we saw on hole nine. Yeah, maybe wanted that extra half a step of run up. Oh man, looks like Levi leaked into the trees. This is, he's got a gap though. Oh, off one step. Where are we? Okay. Yep, that'll yep. play. He's at the top of the hill. So it's going to be, you know, it's probably another full drive to make it for the birdie. Let's I mean, see what Connor can do with the ideal drive. A lot of players from where Levi landed are just going to just have to pitch out. Like, it's really hard to bite distance off. Yeah, that's an absolutely great drive by Connor. He should have an easy up and down with that razor claw of his. Here's Jay finally in the middle of the fairway. Good to see him making the correction for the last day. Prime position for birdie. Throwing his Corvette. Yeah, he's gone flippy flippy. Um, so he definitely doesn't want to play with the left side of this hole. Because, yeah, the right side's a lot flatter, a lot easier to deal with. I don't want to play down the left side. <laughs> it's junk. Yeah, there's a reason why the catch cam's always up on the right-hand <laughs> side, isn't there, Chris? Let's see if Simon can avoid it. Oh, oh no. no. I mean, I know he's been missing low on the putts, but this is the first kind of... That's a big miss for Simon. Mm -hmm. You know, he's three shots back off the lead, and now he's got to and throw that's a too full high. drive. That's too high, and that's going to filter down into that pocket. Uh-oh. Down the gully. Yeah, I know locals, like, I've been there before. We don't like being there, but we can navigate it. But that's going to be a super tough up and down for Simon out in that left. Here's Levi going to be full sent here. Probably a Zeus on his upshot, hanging it wide right. Getting a skip just on the edge of that gorse. 
yep, should be okay. You know, that's going to be circle's edge. It gives him the look that he wants, but it's definitely a tough uphill putt. Now, Jay, he's got a familiar disc in his hand, his trusty buzz. If he upshot. puts this close... Oh, that looks awesome. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, so now, it's going to be a putt off between Levi right, and... All the pressure mm. now is on Levi. So Levi's got to cash the uphill putt from edge of circle compared to Jay's relatively parked and has a like a routine birdie putt. Check out that gallery. Oh my Ooh. God, the whole top of the hill. And this isn't even all the players. Like I can imagine what 18 is going to look like with that little amphitheater in the gallery. Absolutely great upshot there by Kana. So that's where we can see Simon. We've got a runner in the background. <laughs> Don't yeah, think he's it, part of the gallery. <laughs> get it. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this is a, a, it's public land, but a private golf course, uh, you know, so we kind of like filter in between a few governing bodies when it comes to having the disc golf course here. Uh, here's Levi. High pressure part. Oh, and he knows oh, it. Sit. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Move your bag. Oh, <laughs> quick save from Levi. I mean, if he hadn't moved his stuff, that would have been a stroke. This a is penalty stroke. This is heartbreaking. This is two rollaways in the final round coming down the stretch for Levi. You know, he had the splash out here, but he also had it back on hole 12 when he tried to lay up for par. He has, and he knows that yeah. Jay is parked for birdie. Like, this gives the lead away. Get oh, and it. he's over. Uh-oh. Uh, and this is a scary putt coming back, and he's going to be up next. <sighs> And you talked about it before, like Levi doesn't have much of a routine. So Jay's been taking his time, taking it slow, you know, like and kind of going through the motions where Levi's just kind of been stepping up and putting. Bogey down the stretch. And that, he's not happy. No, that's two bogeys here. You know, like here's Jay Park for birdie. So, you know, like this is a two shot swing. That's going to put Jay two out the front with three holes to play. There it is. You have a new leader. Jay Watkinson is now in the lead for the championship. Playing such clean golf. It's honestly incredible to see such a young player at the top at this stage of the tournament. Yeah, but the other thing too, if you look at it, so that's Connor goes to 23 under par. Simon's going to tap in his par to stay at 23. So we have a super tight battle here battling for third. But, you know, like Levi and, and Jay are starting to separate themselves getting interesting as we have only three more holes to play oh, two more uh well, 16 three, 17 18 we three, three to play so here's 16 par 4 172 meters we call it the wind line all these players are throwing directly into a headwind keep it in one of the two fairways you can be down on the left for a forehand approach or up on the right for a backhand approach but yeah this is arguably the, like you have two tough holes in 16 17 and then yeah the easier hole in 18 but here's jay going flipped over yeah and he's filtered down into the fairway the top end of the fairway of 15 which is in a headwind a very common result yeah uh yeah khan is like oh, i don't like that wind he's gonna reset here good job go through the motions kind of throwing a pd2 yeah he wants will all it, the stability will in the it wind. hold up and it does Looks good it's gonna be short but it's gonna be in a good place no that's perfect he's gonna have an easy forehand a shot up shot from there probably throw that pd2 again or maybe a firebird it's probably Simon's stable kahu that he threw for the park job on hole six. And that's pretty short. Yeah, Simon's a little short, but I know he's got the forehand for it, so it'll be just fine. Now, Levi's licking his chops, so he's two shots back, but he just saw Jay miscue down to the right. And he's done the same mistake. Miscued right, but he's going to have more distance. If he can filter into these trees... Okay, just falling... Yeah, but it's going to be short and it's going to be a blind shot over the hill. That is not. That's another mistake by our two leaders. Here's Simon, probably a Kotuku or a Kia. Oh, just getting over the hill, uh, the trees. Yeah, getting caught up in that headwind. You know, like he should be able to make the up and down for par, but it won't be a birdie look by any means. Though he did cash that big putt before through the trees. This is actually pretty open for Jay. Yeah, that's shorter than I thought it was. I thought he was going to have those trees in the way. Playing a backhand into the headwind, this is... <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, it's going to be down. over the basket. And that's going to trickle down towards the path. Ooh. I know his putting's been good, but I don't know if it's that yeah. good. So it's uphill into the crosswind. But he's in a great position to save the par. And no. that's kind of all you can do at this stage. But this is where you want to be. connor has got a straight shot right into the headwind. Oh, it's at the leaking pin. left. Yeah, but through just too stable. Yeah. The angle control is so hard with these hills and this wind. It's such a tricky approach on the angled green. 
And this is a tricky approach for Levi. Can Levi stay in the hunt? This he is needs crucial. to get through, and he does. Oh. Go, go, wow. go, go. Oh my goodness. That's it. What a roll. Game on. So Jay's down the hill, out of position. There's Levi in position to make the birdie to get the stroke back. Simon with a great little half bid there coming in under the basket. That'll be an easy par for him. Yep, kind of trickled down to the bottom of the hill. I guess he'll get a cheeky run. He does have the backstop because he is putting uphill. Oh, basket Ooh. high. Great bid. Yeah, he's like, I like that too. <laughs> yeah, that win probably just keeping him a little bit off target. Here's Jay. This is crucial if he can make this. That's low. Nah, yeah, That's awkward be... stepper up the hill. That's a really tricky, tricky shot. Oh, no. So Levi's pinched behind this yeah, tree. Yeah, he's snookered. I don't know. There is a kind of skinny gap there. He might be going straight at it. I mean, he went straight at it. He hit the tree bang on. Uh-oh. But now this this is... A musket. Oh. Caught it that time. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Levi going like, back to his card mates like, whoo. What are your thoughts on that choice to go through the tree? Do you think that was a high percentage in this situation? He had to go for it? Or... I think for him, so he's got that spinny hyzer yeah. putt. So it's one of those that he didn't like the straddle out to the right. So I arguably... He's it... so good at them, though. I just, I'm just i not sure if he made the right choice. He taps in for his par. Which brings us over here to hole 17. Par 3, 124 meters. Typical play as a power forehand out to the left. Um, filtering into this well-protected green, both above and behind. Uh, definitely was playing the hardest on the weekend and is what we call our thousand rated part three here in the capital. Yeah, just winding it back quickly to hole 16. There was only one eagle the entire weekend. Vaughn Wiley from Team Crossbow. Yeah, good shooting by Vaughn. Great to have another eagle throw in. Here's the throw by Jay. Left it short on the road, but he's in the open. Which is great. That should play just fine. Looks like another backhand. So apparently the players didn't get the memo that this is a power forehand hole. <laughs> Here's going to be that FD out of Kana. CD. CD this time. Yeah. Okay, with the headwind. Turned it over, hits those trees early, but he should have an easy up and down. He had the up and down from the road yesterday to make par. Let's see what Simon can do. He parked it earlier this weekend. Keeps it nice out to the left, using the disc stability to make it fade back in. Uh, not, too not much in. stability today. Yeah. Way on the left-hand side. That's going to be super hard with this wind. You saw it ripping across the fairway. So here's Levi, backhand. Throwing the same disc as Simon, the Pekka Pekka, understable. Oh, this is much better angle. That's he the gets angle the flip. that you want. So Levi's got the flip that Simon couldn't, and that's no drifting way. beautifully. Sit. Yes, what a drive. Absolutely. So that's... it's just outside the trees, but you can't complain with that at all. Let's give it We're the replay. See it again. Way out wide, keeping the angle just right into this headwind to let the disc do the work. Filters out to the right-hand side, and his touch is Ooh. perfect. Little chef kiss off that tree through the bushes. Filters to inside the circle. He's probably going to have about a seven-meter putt slightly uphill. And that is big considering the scores heading into the final hole. Yeah, he's a couple back. He needs this. Simon knows he's still in that battle for third. Got to put it close. Beautiful. Money. That's where you want pressures on to Kana. Oh, Jay must have clipped those trees. He's in a good position. That's exactly where he putted for on the yesterday's round. Nice. Yeah, that should be an easy par for him. Straight look for Connor. He's got to get between these two trees, though. Which he does. It's a great jumper. Perfect. Money. Yeah, great save. Yeah, Connor's like, I'm not out of this, Simon. You're not pulling away from me. So they'll probably stay tied here at 23. This is for a crucial putt. Needs yes. that stroke it before it went in and he's running it in. Yeah, puts him one back with one to play. That Ooh. is the only birdie on the day. This no. hole was the hardest on the weekend. There um, you go. So a few people got it on the weekend, but that was the only birdie that we saw on the final round. Wow. So Jay needs to tap in here to keep his one stroke lead at 27 under par. Which he does. One yeah. stroke in it heading into the final hole. Yep, Man. Simon taps in. Solid putt from him. Thank you for not spitting out. 
in stronger winds, those have totally spit out before. So like the fact that it dropped, I'm like, please do it. <laughs> like, don't do it on the last hole. Speaking of last holes, here we are. Bombs away. Uh, hole 18, par four, 206 meters. Um, you're going to have a left to right wind. This is the wind you want if you want to attack it for eagle. Um, you have that golf OB golf green coming into play as you get down towards the green, but really it's bite off as much distance as you want to chew off before, you know, going on to that green. And Levi is one stroke back, so he has to attack. Levi's throwing a star strike. Out left. That's where you want the wind to get the push. Will it get the flip? That's got oh, stable. It's gotten too Stay stable. In uh -oh. Is it safe? We don't have an OB ticker. I think it's okay. Might have okay, fence, yeah, it could have hit the fence and dropped in or caught those trees, but he's he might have just thrown himself out of it. Jay's got to stay safe, and it's his. And he does. He throws that beautifully. Star Destroyer from Jay. A little bit more stable, but keeps it nice and low out of that wind. That is perfect position. Should be an easy chip over the green. If he can make the up and down, we are looking at our New Zealand champion right there. Here's Kana. Can Kana take solo third with a good drive? Oh, the fake out again. Had a few of those this round. Yeah. Yeah, just not too subtle on the tee. Maybe not used to this much wind and this much elevation. He's used to big courses up in Taranaki, but Throwing straight down the fairway. A little hyzer out here. DD3, and that's perfectly bit, fine. Yeah, a bit too stable, but hey, you know, like it's left himself short, so he doesn't have to deal with any of that rough. And Simon throwing his flippy kahu. Does it have enough? Oh, this oh looks yes. looks incredible. Oh. I, he just barely throws it, and it goes so far. <sighs> oh, baby. I mean, you know, like, we're going to have another eagle look. Will we catch a, one and of those eagles on footage? The gallery loves it, and so do we. Yeah, Flamingo loves it, too. Look at this follow flight. Absolutely playing the wind perfectly. Flips it up Such. into that crosswind. Under the low ceilings Ooh. on the right-hand side to just outside circle one, middle of circle two. Beautiful. Great drive by Simon. That's what, look at that gallery behind the pin. That's what everybody came to see. Beautiful upshot. Yeah, perfect P2 upshot. Nice straight at the basket by Kana. Should have given him a tap in birdie to finish his weekend. All right, Jay just has to get this close. Throwing yeah, over the green. Yeah, I was going to say, the nerves on this. This is for Ooh. his... First championship and arguably biggest win of his career. Oh, touch long. He'll be putting down. Okay. But who knows, depending on Le how close Levi gets. I mean, it's a blind throw. He... Yeah. So he is behind the trees. It looks yeah. like he's in bounds, so he hasn't gone over that fence. Has to go for the spike hyzer. Tailwind's going to help. Okay. I mean, we've seen several putts from that distance before. Connor's been smashing them, so... It could happen. Mm-hmm. Here's Simon for Eagle. An Can eagle we get look. one on coverage? Oh, Ugh. bottom cage. Yep. Story of his round. Tick. Yeah. Yep, there's another another cage hit for Simon. Great bid there for Eagle. Can't fault him at all. That's why he's all smiles. So we've got Simon and, Lee, uh, and Connor under the basket for tap-ins. Oh, no. <sighs> yep. Yeah, Levi goes up over the top, and, and, and that's going to do it. He, he knows that going for the championship is out of it. Um, and that makes it really easy for Jay. Yeah, putt for bragging rights. Great par, stays clean. But yeah, you know, that leaves him at 26 under par for the round. So Jay can even lay up and take the par and, and he'll be your championship. Yeah, you'll see it there. What's Jay going to do? Do you think well, he'll run it for the last one? Well, I think being from Christchurch and seeing Jasper at the charge. <laughs> <laughs> he <might've... laughs> yeah, he, he knows what he wants yeah. to do. Yeah, and he'll lay that up for a nice yeah. easy tap in for the win. Great play from Kana holding it together all the way here, you know, like 24 under par for him. And for Simon, tying it up for third. But here we have Jay Watkinson, your 2022 New Zealand Disc Golf National Champion. Yeah, it was absolutely great play from Jay the whole weekend. Putting was there, driving from there, putts were there. You can see it there, you know, like a nice sigh of relief for the win. 2022 National Disc Golf Champion, Jay Watkinson! Yeah, it was awesome to be able to watch him every single round this tournament. Putting him on feature card, I mean, we had no idea that he would end up as champion, but it was awesome to watch his game the entire way through, and it's, it's so complete, his game. 
Yeah, and it's great to see, you know, like you got Kana and Simon here who've been playing for a few more years than some of these young guns. But, you know, like with Levi finishing second and Jay taking this kind of commanding lead for first, what an incredible weekend. Yeah, it was so good to watch these guys battle. Here we have the final results. Jay Watkinson, your champion. Levi Stout coming in second. Tied third place, Connor and Simon. It was great to watch them battle through the stretch. Yep. And a whole lot of awesome disc golfers from all over the country. Yep, could not be more proud of the of what we were able to achieve here at the Greater Wellington Club and, you know, like the Brantport, you know, like Hills Disc Golf Course. Great to have such a tight battle coming down the stretch. And, you know, like we hope to have all you viewers and all these players back here next year. Yeah, so good to see everyone descend on the capital for this awesome tournament. Brady, congratulations. It was so well run. It was awesome to be a part of it. Uh, we have to thank everyone for coming down and, and playing. Of course, so many sponsors that made this event happen. Yep, absolutely incredible. Pack and Save Kilburnie and the Eastern Suburbs Sports Trust bringing us in. Um, all of our gold, silver, bronze level sponsors. Absolutely incredible support. One of the biggest financial endeavors that the nation's really ever seen. Thank you everyone so much for watching. My name's Chris. My name's Brady. And we look forward to seeing you at the next tournament. Take it easy.